Welcome back! We are picking up right where we left off with part one. The next thing I'm going to cover is text. When you click here, a text box appears for you to enter your desired text. I want to start by aligning the text to the center. It looks a little squishy, so right here, I can add or reduce spacing between letters. I can also add or reduce the spacing between the text lines. And here we can change the font. Nah, I don't really like that one. Let's try a different one. Okay, I like this font but I don't really like how some of the letters are tilted, so I'm going to fix that. I can fix it by separating the text so that each letter can be manipulated on its own. Click on Advanced, Ungroup to Letters. Now each letter can be changed however I want to. Using the circular arrow, I'm going to straighten several of these letters. I'm going to give it a little bit more character by moving down every other letter. Okay, cool. I have it how I want it, so now I'm going to show you some more helpful tips. If I want to move the phrase around on the mat, I need the letters to be grouped, so I don't risk messing up my design. Grouping is simply for ease of visual design and formatting, keeping everything together. If I were to click Make It and try and cut it as is, Design Space is going to try and help me conserve materials by arranging it on the mat most efficiently. But that's not what I want. I want my format. So I'm going to come down here and click attach, then click make it, and you can see it is now formatted how I want it cut. Okay, let's move on. Sticking with our tree theme, I'm going to find another tree that I like. Here's one right here. Because I like it so much, I don't just want one tree, I want a bunch. So I'm going to use the duplicate button and create several of them. No need to space them out to cut them. Remember, Design Space will do that for us. See? Ready for cutting! Next, I want to show you how to curve text. Right now, this can only be done on a desktop. No other device is capable. I'm just going to change this to a block font really quick. This curve button will do the magic. It can curve in either direction. I'm going to add in another text box just to round out this example. Before I move on, I want to get a little bit of a better view of this project that I'm working on and so I'm going to use the zoom feature to make everything bigger. Now I want to separate the text of Thanksgiving by letter. I'm going to fix the spacing a little bit. I don't like how the S looks like it's kind of on its own in the middle. That looks a lot better. The last thing I need to do to finish this up is attach everything back together so that when I go to cut it, it'll stay in this format. Moving on to the shapes menu. This can be super helpful for a lot of projects. My favorite option is the square and score line. 
to make a card from scratch. The score line helps ensure a clean fold. I'm going to play around with this square a little bit. Essentially, I just want you to see some of the different things you can do with this square and the way that you can manipulate the image proportions. If you don't want to keep it an exact square, you can click this lock and then you can change the proportions however you want. Last thing with this is you can come up here to the top and you can type in the dimensions you want the object to be. The final thing I'm going to show you is how you can upload your own images or purchased images into Design Space. Click Upload Image, Browse, then you find your image. My screen recording unfortunately isn't showing my file explorer window. Here's my upload. Name it whatever you would like. Click save. And now it's in your uploads. You'll always select your uploaded images from here to insert them into your mat. This Christmas card is what I'll be showing you how to make in my next tutorial. I'll see you there soon. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you have questions, please be sure to comment. See you next time.